Today, I'm talking about a high availability architecture for active active application deployment in OCI. And um, this, well, first, let me present myself. My name is Antonio Gamer, and I'm a network, a cloud network specialist in EMEA. Um, and I'm going to talk about uh, this high availability architecture uh, today for an active active application in two different ways. Let me show you first um, an architecture of the solution. This is going to be uh, the solution that I, I'm going to present today. So here we have two different regions in OCI. On the left-hand side, we have OCI Madrid, and on the right-hand side, we have OCI Frankfurt. The idea of this, of this solution is to have the same application in two different regions in, in, in an active-active deployment. That means that we are going to, to access from two different uh, VMs, one in Frankfurt and another one in Madrid, and I'm going to access the same application, but in two different places. And uh, in the demo, what we're going to see is that whenever we access from Madrid, uh, the, the OCI region that is um, answering to that request will be the web applications that are in, in the Madrid region. And if I access from a VM in Frankfurt, I'm going to have access to this uh, application, but in the Frankfurt region. And at the same time, uh, uh, whenever we we are uh, going to uh, to move, I mean, to, to put it down the, the application in Frankfurt, and then this the application then will be accessible from far, from Frankfurt to the Madrid region. So this is basically what we are going to see. Okay, on the architecture to to go a, a little bit deeper in the application, I mean in the in the architecture of the solution, you you can see that all the traffic is coming, all the requests from the internet that they are coming through the, the internet gateway on each of the regions, going through a network firewall that we can. We always recommend to have a network firewall just to to check the traffic and our OCA network firewall is able to check the traffic um, uh, for HTTP and HTTPS. So the, the secure side uh, based on SSL will be also checked using our network firewall that, that as you may know, uh, it, is, it is based in a Palo Alto environment, I mean in a Palo Alto engine for the OCA network firewall. Also, uh, we will have the next step on the application. We'll go through through an outer scaling load balancer, uh, also in, in have a, a high availability. All the different pieces on this solution is high available. So also with a web application firewall uh, applied on this, we also recommend to have this web application firewall whenever you have uh, a web application uh, publish in the on the internet okay that will be make the solution very robust and very secure and also uh, mm, we have a, a it works better together which we need within this kind of solution with a network firewall and also the web application they work in different layers and then we'll make the solution very secure after the load balancer the traffic will be for two different web servers, you will see that every time I click on the on the refer button, it changes from the local IP uh, for the each of the web uh, web server application, and then to the application and to the database. Uh, it doesn't matter which kind of um, a web server uh, are we using. Uh, in my solution, for example, I'm using Internet Information Server, a Microsoft web application that that is it will be the one that do they will show me a very simple uh, web application uh, to see uh, which is my my uh, which I'm I'm accessing from okay and the public IP and also uh, in which region is all this and the background the background you will see that is uh, it will change the, the color that will that will be very uh, very uh, you will see it very clearly on the on the demo. Also, as part of this architecture solution, the database must be, well, it is also in a, in a high available and it can be uh, replicated to from one region to another 
using Active Data Guard, if you're using Oracle Database, or any other solution that you may have based on any other kind of databases that you may use also in, in, in our OCI. So apart from that, let's go and uh, start with the, with the demo environment. So this, this is the, the, the demo environment. As you can see here, um, we have um, uh, this uh, Frankfurt region selected here, and we have this web server one and web server two, apart from the rest of the different things. And we also have this a Windows application just for for the, the client to to access each of the environments. Okay, so this is the environment in Frankfurt. If I go to Madrid, we're going to see something similar, which is the two web servers and also the Windows uh, file for having the Windows uh, VM for the access of the um, uh, uh, to to access the the environment from each of the different places. So. On the networking side, we're going to see that we have a public zone, which is a published for this application. The, the, the public zone is a demo app website, which is um, a DNS, a, a public DNS a domain that I have on my own just to, to show you how this works. So this this is the, as you can see, they are already published in, in, in OCI. And for the Geolocation, we are going to use the traffic management stream policies. Okay, in my compartment, just talking about the uh, to, to see that every time we access from each of the environments, it will access the, the first the priority will be uh, one of the the different uh, regions. For if I make accessing from Spain uh, from any uh, public IP in Spain, the first uh, region that will answer our request will be Madrid and the secondary will be Frankfurt and not the same uh, the same thing but in the other way around uh, if we access from uh, Germany the, the the main region or the first region that is going to answer will be Frankfurt and Madrid will be the secondary so uh, this is the way that uh, the, the environment works so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how this is accessible from each of the different regions. Okay, so for example, um, and also here we have this uh, health status. Sorry, just uh, to make sure that we are going to um, to access from each of the other regions. So um, the health status for both load balancer are in, in, in each of the places where these public IP addresses, obviously, as you can imagine, are the load balancer for each of the of the of the regions. So let me show you that uh, also the load balancers, okay, for each of the regions. So if I go to the networking load balancer in Madrid region, I will see that I have this web uh, LB demo mat uh, in Madrid. Okay, which has this 143 IP uh, range. That is the one that you can see here in the traffic management policy. Okay, see this is the, the IP. And also if I go to Frankfurt and I can take a look at the load balancer, the other load, load balancer that is accessible is this 193 IP address. Okay, so this is, as you can imagine, a live demo. So uh, accessing, for example, to Madrid region. Okay, as you can see here, Madrid region is accessing uh, this web application. Let me just open the, the, the web application first. Um, let me just, so as you can see, the application is demo.app website, uh, my web server. Okay, so that will uh, refresh. So if I just refresh my uh, my DNS, that was from the, the the demo before. Okay, so when I really refresh this, uh, I'm accessing from Madrid, which is this environment to uh, the cloud region is Madrid. And if I refresh this, uh, it's changing from one local IP address to the other. So my two is doing a round robin. 
okay? And also the public IP address that I'm accessing, this is the uh, public IP for the load balancer. And the country that I'm accessing from is Spain, as you can see. There's a, a, just a very simple uh, web application that is uh, uh, doing the, um, the trick. So the same, if I go to Frankfurt, okay, just clear up the, the, the DNS. Okay, so if I go to Frankfurt and I run it, okay, this is from the cache. Okay, so if I do the same, just refreshing uh, the environment, do the same, but as you can see, the, the, the Frankfurt website is all <laughs> is blank at the, uh, and the, the background color is, is white and also the public the private IP addresses for the web application is this one and this is the the public IP address that is in the in the Frankfurt region okay and I'm accessing from the from a, a machine that is in Germany okay also in the Frankfurt so this is the way we see that uh, is uh, both of the um, environments are just uh, answering to uh, to the to each of the regions as you as you saw on the um, uh, on the environment uh, on sorry on the solution. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the web application. I'm going to change this health status uh, from in, in the front for side to make it uh, to put it down. So let's go to the compute side. To the compute instance, sorry, and I'm going to turn off to turn off both servers. Okay, so um, to make it forced to go quicker, just to make the, the the demo as quick as possible. So now they are stopping. As soon as they get a stop, okay, what is going to happen is that our healthy status on 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 the load balancer for Frankfurt is going to be down. So the healthy C is already un in an unhealthy. So what is going to happen at the end here is that my Madrid, uh, the access from Madrid keeps working on the Madrid region. And also at the same time, if I access the environment from Frankfurt, what we see is that Okay, let me just share the right uh, application. So in the web, see, this is on the cache. So when I refresh it, I'm accessing from Frankfurt to the Madrid region. See, as you can see, I'm accessing from Germany to Madrid region. That makes, that will make the trick. And because um, Frankfurt is down, okay, the machine that access the application see is all of them are accessing to Madrid, which is the one is uh, uh, active. So if I, uh, as you can imagine, if I uh, change the, um, the the environment and get the uh, health status to Frankfurt, uh, everything will go back to the same uh, approach, I mean, to the same application in the, in the right place. So this is everything for today. Hope you enjoyed the, the environment and thank you very much for attending this uh, Cloud Coach uh, webinar. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.